Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're staring at the beautiful Milan City right now with a two tier, two level train station which I completely fluked it guys I made this by accident I didn't think it was going to work but it works just beautifully as we've now got our fully fledged line all set up we have a line that goes, starts in pretty much Paris, it goes down to Lyon, to Milan, to, I keep calling it Belgrade, it's Belgrade, I do apologise everybody, down to uh, Sofia, all the way down to Istanbul, and it's really taking the edge off uh, Amsterdam right now. Even though Amsterdam is still feeling the burn right now, as we have this line going from Amsterdam all the way down to Lisbon, looking a little bit overloaded. Uh, and we also upgraded the line from Amsterdam all the way up to Riga as well. So we now have multiple trains on that. We are transporting more people than we ever have done before. But now we're going to take a step back away from the peeps. And we're going to look towards the industries. And my heart is always in London, guys. Let's just be honest right now. My heart is always in London. And I want to continue to expand London and make it the biggest city even though it is the biggest city, I want to make it the biggest city in the world right now. We've recently just got over 2,000 residents. We need to bring a lot more fuel in and a lot more food. So that is what we're going to focus on today, is finding some more suppliers of the food and the fuel to bring in uh, to London right now. So we have the line set up at the minute from, um, well, basically in Ireland. Do I steal their food? I feel like that would be... Not very good of me to steal their food. Um, let me actually first see where we have places that we're not really utilizing um, any of this stuff. So let me check out my industries. And if I do it based on cargo, we can see. Mm, no, this is town statistics. What am I doing? Industries are here, Sonia. What are you doing right now? So we're looking for fuel and food. So first things first, then, we need to take a look at the product of food. So there's a Lisbon and a Bordeaux. Oh, okay, so there's one in France, which is uh, here. Oh, there's so many little farms around, so we're going to utilise that. Oh, and we can also do a ship that will take the goods over up into, to London. We have one in Lisbon as well, which is down here, which we might use that if this one doesn't get too much. So we'll focus on this. Because I can bring it over by ship. Which obviously will drop it down over here. Loads up this area and the vehicles take it to where they need to get to. That ship's looking pretty old right now. We're going to probably have to upgrade that at some point. But yeah, let's let's do this. Interesting, boys. Interesting. So what I'm going to do then is actually I'm going to delete this little bit of road here. And we're going to bring in a shipping line a little bit closer. But I think we need to terraform the area first. So flat and tall, make it kind of wide. Brush size, quite large. Going to bring this in. So we're kind of basically creating our very own harbour. Which going to bring into there. And I have to push it out. Also take a little bit of that off so we have like a really good exit for these large ships. That are going to be coming in here. And I have to make sure that it's part of the navigatable waters. If that's the correct term. So cargo harbour. So again. It's outside of the waters. Which is why i got to do a little bit more terrading. So if I just kind of kill this off right now. This is really not going to kind of cause any issues. Because at the end of the day. Still outside of navigatable waters really? Really right now? Right, I'm so sorry, Bordeaux, but I'm going to kind of delete a little bit of you so I can get good access to the water. I do apologise. I'm hoping you can understand. I really do hope that you can understand that your boy has got to make some sweet cash money moolah. So that works. The only problem is it's a little bit too high. So if I bring that to there, and I should be able to then with the road... Right, there we go. And then that means that this whole shipping area here is connected to that. So what we'll quickly do then, we'll quickly get set up um, this uh, dock right now. So if we delete you, and then cargo-wise, I'm only going to need one, so it doesn't really matter. 
So I could place that just there. Landing. I need the large landing. And that's literally all I've got to do. I know I've completely killed off board, though. But if I just quickly create a line from there to over here and back, I can see where the line is coming out. So we can really see. I could have not didn't need to get rid of all of this shambles. So we'll do this little V back again, and we'll smooth it. Use a smoother to just kind of quickly smoothing it all off so we get some edges. Smooth it off down here. A lot of this wasn't needed, but hey ho. You gotta break a couple of eggs to make an omelette, as they say. So that should be fine. That should be fine. So that's there. That works perfectly fine. But obviously, we need to bring the wheat in uh, to here. So, first things first, then. Do I do it by train? Or do I do it by vehicle? Hmm. Train would be the one, obviously. Now, we also have a third one up there. Is using free too much? Maybe. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a tough one. It is a tough one, boys. I think we'll utilize train. We'll use train. Why not? So, train, construction, buildings, tracks, all, all that jazz. We'll use an end platform one with two on. Which all it needs to go is just here. And then end line for the, both of these sides. So, I'm going to go for the longest... the longest platform so I could literally have the most amount of wheat being stored upon it right this one's not going to like it just because of how we have to have everything lined up I'll put that there I know there's a lot of road that is connected and nearby which will quickly pause the game right now And yes, we've got to get all this back in. But I should be able to set up a little bit of... I, I do some better road infrastructure for these guys for the sake of having to destroy a lot of their area right now. So that goes over to there. That will obviously run up to just here. And that is the train line. I mean, I could have done one train, but it gets so it takes so long to get everything connected when you're using one train on two different ends. It really does. So if I just kind of keep it to that for now... Let's just get the road back up and running. So for these guys then, because I kind of deleted a lot of their road, I'm going to actually upgrade them to a faster road. So they can enjoy the higher speeds, boys. You can enjoy the higher speeds. And we'll do it with this road here. So if I bring this... Right, hold on. So if I bring this... Do I bring it up as a bridge? to there and then we'll kind of bend this bridge around and then we'll connect to it so bring it down bring it back down to earth there we go simple so that beautiful little bridge that we've elevated over we can have a road that comes out like this and that one doesn't really need to lead anywhere, as we're not, not really bringing anything over to it. And we'll kill the road off just to here. And we'll bend that around and get it connected just like this. So we've upgraded this area. And what I'll do as well, for the sake of, because I've had to kind of ruin a lot of this road for them. If they jump onto this road, to their destination to each town... Which I'll bring down to here. We'll upgrade the road as well. So, a little bit more speedy. I don't know why I didn't like that. Don't ask me why. It's just all part of the fun, okay, guys? It's all part of the fun. So, back into play mode then. As we're now back to normal. We need to get building set up. And we need this set up. So, let me... What would be the best option? If I maybe threw it just there. And then got the tracks connected up. So that merges through that one. That's going to merge to there. Now, once it's all done, then it's all done. I ain't got to do anything about it. So if I do a new line from there to there, a new line from there to there, 
That is two new lines in the sittings. We want to have a nothing but a full load. Here, nothing but a full load. And leave it as that. Then this now we need to buy two vehicles. Now it's between diesel or electric. I think I'm just going to go diesel for the sake of it ain't going far. So just keep it simple, mate. Also, it will save you lots of money in the long run. I'll go for this one. Cargo-wise, then, we need... It's this here. Yeah. So we'll go for a 200 capacity, and we'll buy two of these vehicles. 1 and 74. 1 and 75. It will do the magic for us. And then once to run them lines, we ain't got to touch them ever again. So this will consistently now bring... Uh, the, is it called wheat? It's called grain. The grain over to here, which will then get turned into food. Now, for now, I'll buy only one ship. So cargo-wise, which... It'll be this one. I'll only buy one for now. Which will be line 73. Just until we start to get a lot more product being created. So we'll just keep it kind of simple for now. So we'll have a little, little bit of a fast forward then. Let stuff happen. They're going to be loving this new road, this new infrastructure that I've implemented. Now that we, uh, it means it's quite high, but there we go. There we go. So these are also going to wait then for a completely full load before they travel down. And they can go up to nearly 200. So, when it drops all the goods off, uh, this plant over here is going to have so much food to process and create. Which is good, because it'll take a while for the ship to make it all the way down. Alright, so that's one line we've got set up there for the food for London. So, hopefully, we can start bringing so much in, considering how high the numbers potentially want to be. Damn. It's a lot, isn't it? So, that is one decent line set up. We'll give that time to kind of uh, run through. And then before you know it, we're making all the monies, boys. All the monies. So yeah, these will take a while to kind of fill up. So while we wait then, let's take a look at and potentially getting some more fuel over here. So the end product being fuel, we have the Antwerp and the Burgess fuel. Now Antwerp is just over here. We have a really, really close one. But it means bringing um, oil in, which could be come from here. They also mean it brings bringing in crude oil. Now, we don't have any oil facilities nearby. Now, we are bringing oil down from over here. But that's solely powering the plastic industry that goes all the way down to here to create the products. So much plastic being stored right there. It's ridiculous. But all this infrastructure is, I feel like it's a little bit too close. I mean, it's not too close, but you know what I mean? Also, they consistently... I mean, that that's, that's an issue for another day. But where is the other one? So, the other one is the Burgas fuel area. Where's this? This is all the way down in... Ooh, just outside Istanbul. Now, we are actually using that. We are actually using that. We have... Oh, we have another one. Of, oh, hold on. We've got another one over here, which is producing a lot of fuel. On multiple lines it's on as well multiple lines so if i was to bring more fuel over whatever one it is of these oh hold on we got these down here wait these can go to there which could then go up to here i know it's not producing a lot but we can make it produce a lot my then pro next problem would be how do i get all the goods all the way up to to london i mean i could fly it over and then drive it in. I could ship it, but it's such a distance to go by boat. I could fly it in, and you would make—I would make quite a bit of profit as well. I really would. Uh, I know. Again, like I said, I know these are really, really nearby. But the money I can make going the long way about it, I could just make a lot of money doing it that way. Right, the ship's just there on the way down to here. Oh, it's already got food. 
Okay, we already dropped some goods off. That's already got 33 food stored. I take it this train rock and rolled. Yeah, I think after so long, it just kind of gives up waiting for a full load. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, right, I'm getting too sidetracked right now. Let's take a look at this then. So, I'll set it up via... I'll set it up via a shipping line. Now, do I then bring it all the way into Budapest? Or do I create a small little cargo airport? I think... Oh, hold on, there's oil thingies. Oh, there's a whole thing here. I can bring it down to there. Oh, I, I mean, just realized all this. I mean, I know there's all that up there, but that's for a different run altogether. Right, this changes everything. This really does. Right, this is going to be the world's shortest train line. <laughs> it, it literally is going to be the world's shortest train line. But this is going to be hilarious. Let me... Okay, I, I won't... Mm, do I pause it? Well, they can drive that way around and come in, just for now. Just until I sort this out. So, building-wise, I need an end line. And we'll go short trains, because the, the journey is so short. I don't think it matters. So, if I go here, this is hilarious, honestly. This is so funny. This is going to be so funny. So if I drop that there, right, this is hilarious. So oil, it's a crude oil, but then I've got to bring it down to here. Which I could still do it with a train line. Right. This means adding an extra additional line onto it. So if I do that there, this is hilarious. This truly is hilarious. Configure this real quick. Tracks. And then platforms. Just like that. And so if I dropped a line just here then, for example. So buildings. Let me do an end line. Just there. And if I was to do an airport, like a small cargo one. Passenger cargo. Is that the smaller one? Yeah. And if I placed it here, I've got a lot. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. For the sake of it, let me just get a road in. I'm just, just going to drop a road here real quick. Oh my god! This is going to work! Right, it's going to get that connected up to there. There's a lot of traffic around here, but hold on. This is ridiculous on the next level. So now, I'm going to have to do something pretty cool. So I need to start elevating it. So as it comes over as a bridge, we keep it elevated. Suspension. Golden Gate style. I'm going to just keep it to like that style. Can I make it go all the way to, over to connect? Hold on. So if I put it to there, it's going to naturally merge through that road. Which do I mind? Probably. Alright, just here. A little tunnel just there, why not? So it's all connected. All I've got to do right now is add in the lines. So new line from there to there. Obviously this one will wait for a full load. Then a new line from there to there. 
here. Wait for a full load. And then it will get thrown onto a plane when it starts producing, then shipped over to London. But we'll we'll sort that out in just a moment. I feel like these lines are so ridiculous, but yet they are going to work beautifully for us. So if I just drop you um, there, I should be able to get a line that going in. That's there. Now they're not gonna. It's not gonna be a huge train, just solely because. Uh, right, what's the cheapest run one to run a year? You. Right. And cargo. One, two, three, sixty. Yes, and I'll drop that on. That line there. Now I noticed too that because it's such a short distance, I don't feel like I need to do a huge amount of wagons. Because it's gonna be constantly going back and forth. So like it's gonna get over to there, load up 60, and then drop it off. This one a little bit bigger. So if I do the same green no, is it this train here? Just for the sake of trying to save a bit of money because of how short the distances are. Now this one I'll do 120 capacity. And throw you on line 77. There we go. So that should do the job as well. So that's filling up quite nice. So this will be interesting then. Once it does its full little journey. Want to be interested to see how much money it actually makes. Going that such a short distance. It's going to be pennies that it makes. That's literally all it's going to be. Pennies. 333,000. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And as it goes back right now, there's already 25 available for it. So it will pick a load of uh, oil up right now. And obviously, that will just keep going as we transport more and more. So that is already got 14 on board. This is mad. So before I can bring a, a plane all the way over here... Oh, is that ship bringing food back? 73. Yeah, before I can bring a plane all the way over here, I first need to get this connected to the road network. And, yeah. So, this is mental. Uh, buildings, I need the truck stop. Now, this should be okay. And connected here just fine. So, I'll drop that to there. And, of course, it needs to drop at a truck stop where the fuel area is. Which would be... Right, hold on, look, look at my lines. So, where does the fuel line go? That little blue one goes to there. Am I, just, I'm, I think I'm just bringing fuel in and then dropping it off there, aren't I? So, if I set up a new line that goes from here to here and obviously all it's unloading is fuel that's all it needs to know that would work so if i quickly i don't have any vehicle depots nearby do i yes i do here so if i just buy one cargo vehicle for now for it line 78 so with that set up to there, I can now create a... Oh, no, I can't create a new line just yet because I've got to add in the cargo thing for this. Oh, which actually I might not be able to do it right now. Hold on, main building, cargo terminal. Oh, I can over here. So let me start that line again. So new line from the cargo side. Oh, this is so elaborate. To there. Meaning, now, this is getting, obviously, eventually going to be getting stuff. So, I'll buy one cargo plane. And it's going to be this one, obviously. It can hold 12 capacity, which is not a lot. But eventually, we'll have a lot of them on there. Line 80. So, that line is up and running if you want to go about and do it. We just need this train to deliver some more guts. 
Now that's got stuff coming in. That's fully loaded again. Is that making money, this? It, it, technically it is, which is even more hilarious. So that's got some stored right now, but we're not going to see any fuel. Oh, there we go. One fuel there waiting. So we know that line now works. So that's another way that we can slowly get fuel coming in. And granted, I could always upgrade the airport. I could always add more planes onto that line. It's no big issues. No big issues right now. Now that does bring... Oh, that's a point. So what I could also do... Because where this drops a load of fuel off... I think I'm pushing it too far at that point. And then bringing fuel back with the vehicle and making the plane... I could I can't actually do that, make the plane come back with um, crude oil on board. No, not crude oil, normal oil. So it makes money in both journeys. I mean, that's really sophisticated. We'll kind of keep it simple for now. So that's just dropped a load of good stuff off right now. So we're now producing over here. We've got 12 there, which is the full capacity of a plane. Transport is low because obviously we're not really transporting any. I know we have that line just there, but it's not really doing much for us at the minute. I think it only drops fuel off. This is the first time we're actually sending it somewhere. So 20 already to go. That in terms of finances. So it just about makes money. This, not so much because it, it, different times of day it kind of gets the goods. But as the transport continues, the shipment will increase. And this train will increase as well. So over time, that will just get better and better and better. And there's 30 waiting at the airport now, which is good to see. Impressed, mate. So that means London is getting more fuel and more food at this point as well. So it'll take a while before it actually, you know, fully kicks in this whole little system. Waiting over here right now is 193 food. That ship has capacity of 100... Oh, it actually has quite a high capacity. So that's going to be able to carry all of it. Now, is this making money? Not really. Are you making money? Not really. But in the grand scheme of things, this will be making some serious money. So when it does deliver, nice chunk. But that wasn't even at full capacity. That's another thing I think of. So I don't mind losing money on these two new lines that I've got implemented. If it's a case of it's going to slowly feed London. And give it everything it needs. I don't mind that. I don't. I, honestly, I don't mind that. So that plane. Is that it? Yeah. It's quite slow. Actually, you know what? No, it is not quite slow. It is quite fast. But this is the one that picks up fuel, isn't it? I'm hoping it is. Do you know what? I can get by buying another one now, can't I? So, actually, I'll buy two more. And I'll go around and start making me some sweet cash, boys. So we haven't transported any of it yet. So this will be interesting. How much has he got there? 40. Like 40. I think I can get away with a few more. So we got three. If I get seven, that means we've got ten. I know in no world right now does it make sense for me to have 10. But as time goes on, it will. Yeah, we staggered quite nice that we, we're, we're consistently having a delivery of fuel into London. Yeah. So, there's that one plane. Wait, did I not pick anything up at all? Wait, hold on. Are none of these planes picking up any of the goods? Right, please tell me you are. Yes, you are. So keep an eye on that plane. 
it'd be interesting to see how time what, what it does. Well, it does really bad now, does it? Right, I'm glancing around for planes. Your boy's glancing for planes. Aha! Uh -huh. No. Aha! Uh -huh. This one's got fuel on board. So I just want to see how much money this plane makes by landing. Do you reckon we should add in a second runway? It's possible. So the plane about to land right now is the plane that is carrying the fuel. So let's see how much money this makes. And it also should transport it over to here. Here we go, here we go. One point eight million for transferring twelve fuel. That's ridiculous. So two runways are now set up. One for landing, one for taking off. Very important we have this method set up. This plane's gonna land and, and take off. Simultaneously. Great. Right, have you got fuel on board? No. No. But yeah, that is the first time then so when that, that the truck comes in, can deliver it, mate. Nice. So that boat, that ship is now on the way back. Almost full to capacity, which is good to see. There's 58 ready and available for them. So this has been a success. It's not breaking any records in terms of making us even more money. It's not breaking any records on that front. But it's a case of it's going to allow us to grow London a bit more. Thus, we will then probably make more money in other areas. So very happy with the progression so far. So in terms of the towns and cities right now, London size... Uh, over 2,000. Holy moly. Amsterdam still clinging on to second place right now. But yeah, holy moly. So what are the lines that do come in here in terms of cargo? Line 1, which brings packages. Oh no, this is not line 1 they're bringing packages. 159 years old. So they do a, a little bit of everything. They're picking up food. Um, yeah, they're picking up wheat from here to drop off to there to pick up the food to bring it back. So if I manage these vehicles right now, because they're a little bit old. I'd say, when I say a little bit old, very old. Um, one of these can do the job. But it is slow. That this this boat's a bit quicker. I'm not sure it's the same boat though. Capacity is really high. Right. Oh snap! They're, they're huge cargo ships. No wonder the freaking capacity's huge. No one of their capacity is huge right now. But they can go so quick. They can travel so much quicker. There's no point we do it to that one. Because even if you can travel at that speed, there's no need for it to travel at that speed. That's going to wipe everything out. It means I only need one vehicle on it. I think that picks up the goods, doesn't it? And drops the goods off. Yeah. I, 
I think I only need one vehicle. Right. The line. Manage vehicles. Do I sell them all? And just stick it back to one vehicle? Yeah, I'm gonna. Just because the sheer amount of cargo this that can now hold. Is ridiculous. So it just makes sense to have this, doesn't it? So there's not really a lot to load up right now. But we'll take it. And see what happens. So let me configure this. Cargo-wise... So we can store a little bit more cargo. In comes this vehicle right now. Dropping those goods off. London's going to go for another boom. We're going to go for another boom in London. Yeah. So why has the money been like that we've been making lately then on the charts? Increasing, we made more money revenue this year than any year in the past, and it just keeps on increasing. Great, very good, very good. So, them ships are doing the business right now. What's the line that goes through there? It's on both sides, isn't it? So, the, the, the ship it goes this way. Back and forth right now. Manage the vehicle. Can I replace this to a higher capacity? Uh, not you. You. Replace. So that then can hold a lot more on board. So more fuel will be coming over. Which would be really good to see. So, are we overloaded anywhere? Do we need more buses on this bus line? Bus line 27. Manage vehicles first. Can I replace them for anything better? Passenger-wise, we've been using these. Capacity 26. These do dramatically drop it down. But loading speed is times 5. Top speed is a little bit slower. They're cheaper to maintain and run, but we need more of them. Emissions aren't really much different, so there's no point in me changing them. But I will buy eight more of these bad boys. Throw them on that line. Because this is being very, very overloaded right now. Let's get them all spread out. There's a load of people over there. There's a couple of people... Uh, yeah, there's loads of people everywhere, to be honest, you in Paris. Paris needs a lot more buses skedaddling around right now is it the same story over here it looks like it pretty much yes yeah. so vehicle depot we're gonna buy eight more buses put it on the brussels line there uh is amsterdam overloaded one no amsterdam's fine Train station doesn't look fine. Actually, they are quite low numbers, considering. They are quite low numbers. London, on the other hand, it does look pretty low. It's that last station before it heads back, isn't it? Always like that. Um, Passion's getting picked up again. Transporting to different lines. So we're all okay. We are all okay. In the major cities. What about, like, Madrid? 91. Yeah, Madrid needs a few more on the go, doesn't it? So, line 30. Ooh, okay. First, we're going to manage the vehicles and replace them to these. Only a few more people can fit on that type of bus. But we're now going to buy... I'll buy only six more of these. No, we'll go for the full eight. The full shebang. That line there. That'll pick a few more people up right now. So, just on the major cities... 
22, 5. Yeah, we're okay in Budapest. We're okay. So we're increasing our revenue dramatically. Which is really good to see. Oh, we got issues over here. We do in... Oh, Istanbul's expanded over here so much. So... I'm only going to add six in Istanbul. Pick those four leaders up. Good stuff. Good stuff right now. So that ship's now incoming. And how much you got to store? So there's no point in me upgrading that boat. There really isn't. Uh, where's that big ship right now? Coming in right now with 184 boxes on board. It's got 245 wheat to carry. And then 127 to bring back. Nice. So the issue we got over here then, we need more steel coming in for that, don't we? Now, what's the issue? The issue is, is it not getting as much shipment of this? Not really, compared to the two of the coal we can bring in. Is there any more steel plants in any other places? There's, oh, there's two over here. Oh, there's a whole steel section over here. We could also utilize. Now, if I brought steel in, and if I drop steel off there, this ship, please tell me that this ship can also accommodate steel. Which it was this one, wasn't it? It can. So I can load that ship up with steel. So as it sails over to there and then go back, it'll drop off steel there to create more goods. Wow. Okay. Okay. So this would all be done via vehicles. This is all going to have to be done via vehicles right now. So if I spin or place you here. So what I need to do is configure this. I need a secondary line. Because we're going to have two coming in. And then one going out is what I need to do. So by doing that, we're going to then connect that just there to pick up those three. And then we'll do this here to pick up... Well, I say pick up those. Can I do it like that? Yeah, it still kind of grab them both. So if I just quickly set up a couple of lines right now. So from there to there... From there to there, which will have it on a different one. There, and then this will drop off. We have the little drop off area just here, don't we? There. I'm hoping this is going to work. <laughs> I really am. So, do I have a vehicle depot nearby? Uh, oh, well, yeah, one here. So buy vehicles, cargo-wise, that does all cargo, keeps the emissions low, but does 20 capacity times 5 loading speed. That does 32 capacity, that does 38 times 5. Uh, it's cheaper to run these, but they don't carry as much cargo, but I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? So if I get eight to begin with, and put them on line 81, if I buy another eight, I'm just all about keeping those emissions low. But it doesn't, I mean, it don't matter because it doesn't, it's not that high, but any way I can reduce is a benefit. And then we'll only buy four of these. No, free. F 
for now because I know they're going to be a lot lower. We will now upgrade the existing road to something a little bit more speedy. There we go. So off those vehicles now skedaddle, it should start producing steel. And then we can slowly ship it all the way back. And because obviously it can pick up goods from there to here, it should be able to then transfer goods back. But I don't know whether that shipping line is predetermined in a certain way. So manage the line. Yeah, it is. So as it gets to Amsterdam, I want it to be able to pick up not only wheat, but steel. And in London port, not only unload, but also, well, unload food, but also unload steel. So that means then we're able to transfer it all back. So we've also got to configure these to be able to hold a lot more here than normal. And then the same for this one here. There we go. So by being able to hold a lot more, should be a lot more beneficial for us. We should then slowly start producing a little bit of steel. So not storing anything just yet as the first few vehicles make their way in. But there we go, our first bit of ore now coming in. First bit of coal. And it will slowly start producing, as you can now see, our first bits of steel. Nice. So that'll take a while in itself as well before we start seeing this ship filled with um, steel. But it's another kind of item that it can carry to make more money. Now, it made a big chunk of cash there, but obviously the expenses are ridiculously high as well. So hopefully we can, you know, add more onto it. And obviously the more steel it brings in, the more goods that this can produce, and then the more goods it carries back then to Amsterdam. So you see the cycle that this ship is doing? Damn, boys. This ship is going crazy. But we've got to bring some steel over anyway. So, by the looks of it, can I add another one of these to this? To be able to kind of hold more goods. I don't think it works like that. But you never know. You never know. So we're waiting for that first truck then to make its way over here. Which, uh, I'm not sure which one it will be. To pick up the steel to take it back before that ship arrives. So, completely unloads. And it will load up then with the goods. And then, ta-da! <laughs> Amazing, right? It's a decent little system. It is a decent little system right now. So is this one of the trucks on the way back? It is. I might eventually need to add more trucks to this, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. So that ship is now set in sail. It's now set sail. Um, how much bread... Oh my god, it's so much bread over here right now. Or food. I need to get some more vehicles on this line. So, quickly, bye. I'll buy six more on the food line to kind of help us out there. But we're just waiting for our first truck to come in now. To pick up the steel. And hopefully you can get there and back before that other ship comes in. So is this the first one? Are you the first one? No. Are you? No. Are you? Yes. It's this one here.
Nah, it won't make it in time. So it'll be on the next one. It won't make it in time. But the ability to do so is there. The ability to do so is there. London itself. How are we growing? What's the chart saying? Again, skyrocketing up as usual. Everything's on steroids around London at this point. It's amazing. So that is the steel truck. Now doing its thing. I'm going to try and... Um, there we go. Create like a little bit of a shorter route. I'm going to upgrade the street construction. Oh no, it's going to remove my buildings. So, saving a little moments where I can. But that trick is now going to load. I wonder if we might be able to get a vehicle over there in time. No, that's food. Uh, that one's containing steel. No, I don't think we'll get that one there in time. It's still actually, to be honest with you, it's still unloading. Then it's got to load the food. So we'll see what happens. So loading all the food. And it should then be pretty much done. And that first truck just got here, just before it disembarked. And then the steel is there, ready for the next journey. So ready for the next journey anyway, so we're okay. We will be okay. But yeah, nice another little system all up and running. Another way for me to make some extra cash. And get that producing more. That'll be a really big help. How is this line doing then in, in general? So even though it's not bringing anything back, it's only taking fuel from Istanbul to London. That seems to be enough for it to turn a consistently high profit. So this ship right now, in terms of its line, finances, it only makes money when it drops food off. But the, the months where it doesn't, the two months that it doesn't, even with them added on top in the same year, sorry, you're still making profit. So this is still making profit nonetheless. Oh wow, there's so much food there right now. There's more food than this that ship can contain. See? See? As time goes on, these just get bigger and better. Amazing, mate. Freaking amazing. And is that storing a lot as well? Yep, yeah, because the shipment's getting higher and higher. That's also going to drop off a load of uh, wheat as well. Which is going to overload this bad boy. Amazing! So many things are happening right now with the industry growth. I'm loving it. So how are these guys doing over here then? So that's consistently got oil ready to turn into fuel. So I take it this has got quite a bit ready to rock and roll with. This is consistently producing. It just needs more coming in, which, you know, this can only go as fast as it can go. But it's all slowly coming together. And it's a reason why we're having this skyrocket in money coming in. Beautiful. If I extend it over all the years, look at that slow growth of blue money. Nice. Nice. You see the town growth as well, the amount of tracks that we've now implemented. What is this bottom one here? It's the oh, bridges. <laughs> but yeah, money coming in hot and heavy. We're doing pretty good. Making over a quarter of a billion dollars in profit every year. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed right now. So London. Still got it. And we're still going to try and slowly push it a bit further. To grow it a bit more. There's only going to be so much you can do with the limited space that we do have remaining. Uh, this is now storing quite a bit of uh, wheat or grain and steel. The ship is now only just leaving. 
And what's the finances on this like then, if I overview the line? So even though it's only one ship, this year so far, it's made a consistent amount of profit to outweigh the outgoings. So hopefully that does continue. And it's only going to get bigger and better and make even more money with the steel on board as well. So this is good. I'm very, very, very impressed right now. Last thing I want to check out right now is the, the, the lines here. So that line's making money. Good. This line making money. Good. And obviously this line making money. So these three lines that got connected to the steel plant all making money as well. So that also goes towards our overall income. Very happy. Cities are growing. Your boy's making sweet cash, money Buddha. Damn. What a sight to see. And on that note, guys, we will be ending and get here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.